Hello, friends, and welcome to A Better Life with Cat. Today, we're going to talk about tidying up. What is tidying up not? <laughs> it's not deep cleaning. It's not decluttering. It's simply stacking things, sorting things, so that it appears to your eyes to look better. Take, for example, a hotel room. You've left your hotel room in shambles. That happens. You come back, the bed is made, and everything on the dressers are no longer askew. They're straightened up, they're tidied up, they're stacked and they're in order or whatever. That's what I want you to do. So number one thing in tidying up is to close all the drawers and closet doors and cabinet doors and pantry doors. Let's close some doors. That's going to eliminate a lot. Number two in tidying up is pick up anything on the floor that is clothing and go put it in the dirty clothes or hang it up and put it away. Clothing and shoes, get those out. The third thing in tidying up is get a bag and throw all the trash in the bag and take it out to the garbage. Now things are starting to look a little bit better. You're not doing your whole house at one time. You're limiting to the kitchen or the living room or the bedroom or the bathroom. You're limiting it to one area of your home. You may need to declutter or de I'm sure you need to declutter, but you may need to tidy up your whole home, but we can't do it like that. We have to start and do it in one room. So after you've got the floor relatively clean, now we're going to begin the tidy up and we're going to do it from the floor up. It's the opposite of the way we deep clean in my book. We're gonna go from the floor up. So the next thing is anything else in the room that doesn't have a container nearby, like a toy bin right in the room, if it has a toy bin, put it in the toy bin. I don't care if it's overloading. If this is the top of the toy bin and it's overloading, I don't care. Get it in the toy bin. If it is, um, Anything else, it probably either belongs on the floor, but it's out of place. Let's say you have a guitar on a stand and it's sitting in the middle of the room, go put it in the corner where it goes or something like that. If you have a throw, like this throw on my couch, if this throw was laying on the floor or hanging off the couch and about to fall on the floor, take the throw and fold it up and put it on the edge of the couch or on the chair or wherever you keep it, okay? Fold it up. Next thing we're going to do is um, if you have any pillows or things like that in your bedroom or on the, in the living room that need to go on the couch or the bed, let's get them on the bed. If it's a bedroom, let's make the bed. Okay, now we're going to, we're coming up, right? We're coming up. We've done the floor. It looks pretty good. Everything is kind of shoved to the edges and stack. Let's say you have papers all over the floor. Stack them like this right? Stack them, put them on top of each other and stack them and put them in a neat, neat pile. Now on the countertops, we're going to do the same thing. If you've got a bunch of loose pins on the countertop, let's gather them up, open the drawer where the pins go and stick it in there. I don't care if half of them don't work. We're not decluttering. We're tidying up. Now any paper or trash that needs to go in the trash gets put away. Um, any Towels, let's say you're in the kitchen, dish towels need to be hung up or put in the laundry. Um, and this is tidying up. Now the difference in the kitchen and the other rooms is that you may have dirty dishes. So we're gonna save those for last, but I want you to organize your dirty dishes. Putting the pans together, the plates together with the bowls in them on top of the plate. So it's like a stack of plates, a stack of bowls. Maybe between that, you've got red plates that are a little smaller. You're gonna put them in order putting your silverware next to that, putting the glassware next to that. Now you can either hand wash them after you've tidied this room, hand wash them and put them in the rack to dry. Or if your dishwasher is empty, you can load the dishwasher. If the dishwasher is full, you can empty the dishwasher, put the dishes away and put the dishes in. If they don't all fit, then hand wash the rest, lay some towels on the counter and let them dry there or do a second load. But you get the idea, you're just tidying stuff. You can't even begin to declutter if everything is a mess. 
if everything is a whirlwind, we've got to stack it together, okay? So today I want you to tidy if that's your problem. It may not be your problem, but if it is, if you've got a problem with messy things, if you tend to leave drawers and, count and cabinets open uh, and, and closet doors open, those kinds of things, try to start remembering to close them. It instantly makes the space look better. If you have lots and lots of paper, let's contain them in a box. Okay. If you continue to follow me, you're going to see that we have routines, which I now call rituals, that you can do that will get rid of that paper over time. All of this is like the dripping of water that wears away stone. There is no rush to get this done. If you rush, you might make it look pretty good, at least surface clean, but you're going to be so tired because it's so overwhelming. It's so much to do. Oftentimes, you'll find yourself in the predicament you find yourself in now. So stop that immediately. Start watching these videos. If these aren't enough, I have more concise videos on my Patreon channel, patreon.com, A Better Life with Fly Lady Cat. You can sign up for that. That's $5 a month, a month, only $5. And it's going to give you everything you need to get your house in order because I'm going to give you a recording Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday every week so that you can get your house in order. And if you need to be personally mentored, this is also where you can reach out to me in the Patreon notes. You can send me a note that says, I want to be personally mentored. Put your phone number in there. I will call you and we'll see if I have a time for you so that we can be, I can mentor you. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. Today, I want you to tidy up. I just want your life to be better. That's all. I want you to have a better life and you can't do it the way you've been doing it. And jumping from one recording to another, oh, my chicken and rice is ready. <laughs> See, if I don't have a timer, I won't remember either. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous day, a great week. I hope you can really make a step toward change in your life. And I hope you always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful. <laughs>